If I was to say to you, sweet hoary morning or wimple honey drop, would you know what I was talking about? I'm talking about cider apples, which is what you need if you want to make Cornish cider, scrumpy or mead. All three of those are made here at Callistock Cider Farm, which is between Suro and Newquay. It's a working cider farm and a distillery. I'm off for a tour. Hi, David. Hi. How are you? Very well, thanks. This is David Healy, who is the owner of the farm. And what a wonderful place it is. Who's this? This is Jingo. Hi, Jingo. She's our chief cider taster. Oh, is she? Thank you, girl. <laughs> you want some? Really? <laughs> well, she tells us <laughs> if, this is, if this is a good brew or not. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a good one. What do you think? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's smiling. <laughs> oh, she likes it. How big go. is this farm? Um, we've just got 100 acres here. We've got um, about 16 acres of apples. Yeah. And we also grow some elders and some plums and dams and gooseberries, those sort of things. And how did you become involved? We actually started off um, as a manufacturing wholesale company. We weren't involved with tourism at all. This is your family? No, just actually myself and my wife. Actually. Oh, okay. Right. About 20 years ago. Yeah. And so many people wanted to see what we were doing and what we were up to that we ended up with this, where they're now the nation's favourite farm visit. So from something that started purely as a manufacturing business, to do that is, is quite a change for us, really. But great fun. We thoroughly enjoy it. So what's the difference, then, between cider and scrumpy? Is scrumpy just another name for cider? Scrumpy, traditionally, is, is in, the, in the orchards, you'd always have your sweet apples and your, your slightly sour apples and your drier apples and so on. And you'd have these varieties which you'd use for your different products. And at the end of the year or the end of the pressing, you'd be left with this sort of pile in the corner, which was a mishmash of, of everything. And you, you'd squeeze it, chuck it in a barrel and say, well, that's scrumpy boy. And, you know, people like the fizzy cider or people buy fizzy cider. But of course, you would say. Mm. That there's no way that tastes like the stuff that you produce. There's two different sorts, isn't there? There's, I mean, the scrumpy that Jingo likes, <laughs> and um, there's the fizzy cider. We do both here. But, do you? Um, yeah, we, we do both. Um, but vintage cider is really the best, isn't I it? I think that the traditional cider, the still cider, is, is what people expect to have as a scrumpy, and that's probably our most popular. And is the idea to drink it as soon as you can? Don't leave it hanging about in the bottle. I think probably more as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I should look forward to that, yes. Don't drink that after the horse, not a good idea. Can I have a look around the orchard? Yes, for sure. If there's, there's a trailer ride going just now, so hop on and yeah? Yeah, enjoy yourself. Okay, lovely. See you later. Cheers. Bye. Welcome to our orchard. This is uh, one of two orchards that we've got here at the Cider Farm. We've got a total of over 3,000 apple trees. We grow eight different variety of apple. And from that, we're producing approximately 40 to 45,000 gallons of cider a year, between 500 and 1,000 gallons of each of the various wines. And you might be surprised to learn, we don't pick any apples here. We let nature do the job for us. We simply shake the trees to help it, and we collect the fruit from the ground. Both of the orchards here at the Cider Farm are on the side of a valley, and this site was specially chosen for three main reasons. One being that they actually face north to south. So this means we get maximum sunlight on our fruit. Secondly, we've got no means of watering our trees. So we have to rely on the odd one or two days rain that we get a year in Cornwall. And uh, <laughs> that slowly seeps its way down the valley sides, waters the trees for us. So how many people do you employ to shake the trees? Um, it varies depending on the harvest. Right. Um, usually eight to ten people would go through. Um, because we grow different varieties, they all come into fruit at a different time. So we're able to spread the harvest in over a six to eight week period. And do you have bad years sometimes? We do have weather. bad years, yes. Last year was an exceptional year. We had so much fruit, the trees were, branches were breaking off them. So if last year was a good year, that means the cider now will be really good then, isn't it? It is. Marvellous. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, after that exhausting tour of the orchards, I need a drink. <laughs> I really do. And this is the place to have a drink. Look at all this. 
Oh, come on, Mark. Here's a nice Cornish pint for you. Oh, thank you. Is, is it poured by Kay? Yeah, yeah this, is, this is mine. Oh, you're so generous. You're just so generous in this part of the world, aren't you? What's happened? Cheers. Oh, lovely. What's this I'm drinking? Medium dry scrumpy. Probably our most popular. But come on, give him a decent glass, oh, Helen. Okay. You're allowed. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness for that. I was very sad then. Actually, that's quite nice. What's this? Is this the same thing? Same thing. The same yeah. thing. Yeah. Proper drink now. Mmm. Taste the It's lovely. Absolutely, yeah, but it's, mm. it, it's not sour. No, no. It's no. really um, smooth, mellow. Thank you. Lethal, I would think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's one of these ones that <laughs> creep up and hit you. <laughs> so this is scrumpy? Medium dry scrumpy. Okay. Yeah. What about all these? Yep. It says wine on here. Mm-hmm. Let's try some elderflower. This one is um, something we grow in the orchards again. We started off with these country wines um, on the apple, but then people, if you smell that, you get that real fragrant summer smell. Yeah. It's important to pick those flowers between the hours of 11 and 4 when the sun is up and the pollen is there. I really can smell the flowers. Absolutely actually. gorgeous, isn't it? It's only 6% alcohol, too. We have that chilled, right. almost frozen. And when you drink that, it's like a, a beautiful after-dinner drink. And if you're feeling really, really a bit flat, put it on your ice cream and have it with the ice cream. Oh, that's lovely. That Again, it's through. not too sweet. No, it's but just... it is a medium sweet. Yeah. Plenty of flavour. Lovely smell. That's it's flowery, in fact, which Absolutely. is... Absolutely, yeah. What and is. the last one is the honey mead. And you do realise that's an aphrodisiac. An aphrodisiac, mm. is it? Mm. Well, it's worked. <laughs> I'm in love. Absolutely, I'm in love. David, thank you so much for showing me around. Pleasure, thanks for coming. And what's your slogan at this farm? Legless but smiling. Says it all. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.